Hello everybody, welcome back to another What I Wore in a Week. I feel like I've really got into the groove of my autumn outfits. The last What I Wore in a Week, I really hadn't got into the groove of things yet, but I feel like I really have at the moment. Today's outfit is making me especially happy as well. It's very, very autumnal. So yeah, I'm excited to bring you along with me this week and show you what I'm wearing. And we're gonna get started with today's outfit, which you may have already seen on Instagram, maybe, because I've just taken some photos of it. So the lighting is not great today, one of those very gloomy autumn days, but it has been kind of warm. So so it's working in my favor. Can't complain too much about it. It doesn't help him wearing black as well, which is always a bit of a pickle on camera, but this is from Zara. It's actually like a ribbed knit. I don't know if you'll be able to, yeah, there we go. So it's like a ribbed texture. I really like this one. It's actually shorter, so it's a little bit easier to tuck, but not so short that it is riding up and peeking up above the line of my skirt. The skirt, we need to talk about this skirt. I love it and those of you who've watched my channel for a long time will know that i am not really a skirt wearer i've never really felt like super comfortable in them so this is the first time in a very long time that i've put a skirt like this on and i'm not mad about it i love this so much it is so beautiful it's like a faux leather grazy khaki or khaki if you're from the us that kind of color it's got these pockets on the front which they actually, they're legit pockets, which is kind of cool. But I just love the detailing on it. I love the texture of it. I love the color. I saw this on the Zara website and I was like, oh, I need that. So hopefully it's still in stock by the time you guys see it, but I'm not sure because I think I actually had to put myself on the uh, stock notifications for this. Then my boots are also from Zara, just a whole little Zara outfit today. Apart from my coat and obviously the obvious being my bag. The bag is the Fendi camera bag, which is just an all year round staple. Like I've never, I've not found a season that this bag does not work in. Honestly, one of the best purchases I think I've ever made. So, so many people that I know have bought this off my recommendation and it really is a winner. I love it and I love it with this outfit as well. It just works really nicely. The brown tones and the grey khaki tones work really, really nicely together. And then it's also got the black on it as well, which ties in perfectly with my top and boots just all works really, really well. Balancing you on top of the uh, giant jug in my living room. So this coat is one from All Saints last year, and I love it. That is the jug, by the way, if you don't know what jug I'm talking about. Anyway, this coat is the Madison coat, I believe, from All Saints. I purchased this last autumn, and it's just, it was a pricey purchase, but honestly the most perfect, timeless winter coat. I wish it would show up better you can just about see the buttons on it it's a really nice kind of like i think it's a wool i think it's a wool material but that kind of like felty material i always describe it as felt which is so incorrect but it's very long line on me it would be a little bit shorter obviously if you are taller for reference for those of you who are new here because there's lots of you who are new here and i can tell when there's new people here because i get asked my height more than ever i'm five foot two so if you're short this is the kind of length it would fall at and if you're taller then it will obviously come up a little bit shorter but i love it and it's got the belt ties on it as well this coat looks really really lovely tied i've actually just found a zara coat that is very similar to this but in a camel and let me tell you it is incredible so yeah that's mostly what i'm wearing today i haven't done jewelry yet i just got my normal everyday jewelry in my ear that i never take out for those of you that want a jewelry collection i have done that and i will link it so yeah that is my outfit for this friday afternoon it's a nice outfit not too dressy but not cash either like i feel really really good in this so i'm just gonna go out and see a friend now and i might check back in with you later for some loungewear or i might check in with you over the weekend for some loungewear because let's face it the weekend is like loungewear central loungewear and pajama central around here hello everybody just popping in because it's the evening i'm still wearing the same outfit i was wearing earlier i've been to the garden center i've seen my friend but i wanted to interject and talk about the lipstick that i've been wearing today because i am obsessed with it it's from by killian which i like you guys will know if you've watched my videos for a while this is not gonna focus but i love these lipsticks i think they're like the best lipstick design like i'm in love with this lipstick design they've got like the k engraved in it it's beautiful this lipstick though it is fragranced and i need to find out what the fragrance is because it's one of the by Killian fragrances and I need to have it in my life because it almost smells like chocolatey like not chocolatey that kind of like sweet vanilla-iness oh god it's so gorgeous so beautiful and the colour it is maybe my perfect nude so I feel like I wanted to give that a shout out today and I'll probably be wearing this a lot in this video this week so if anyone's wondering what my lip colour is is this you guys need 
put this lipstick like it's a it's a spenny lipstick but you guys need to put it on your christmas list because it is it's incredible and i don't say that lightly about lipstick because we can get affordable lipsticks like mac lipsticks are great they smell nice too and they're like not drugstore but they are like good not spenny lipsticks comparatively but i wouldn't say this lightly this is this is incredible i need like 10 of this also my glasses are from ray-ban before anyone asks they are like six years old so i very rarely find a pair that look like them from like a trusted website but apparently you can get sunglasses that have the same frame and have lenses put in them i don't know i've not done it i'm taking no responsibility for whether that goes well or not but yeah i got them like six years ago and i love them see ya Everybody, welcome back it's actually been a little while since my first outfit of this video we had the weekend and long story short i was pmsing and i was not i literally didn't talk to anyone <laughs> let alone talk to you guys you would have been like is she okay is she okay i spared you that one you can thank me later so i didn't film my outfits over the weekend but what i am gonna do is recap with you what i wore at the weekend so that you can kind of get a feel for what i was wearing and it was definitely inspired by my practical outfits haul which if you haven't seen it you definitely should because i feel like it's very reflective of where i'm at in my life but where i feel like we are all at in our lives right now you know with all of these country walks and zero events and parties i'm saying this like i miss socializing i'm actually not sure i do that video is there for you to go and watch if you prefer something a little bit more practical i definitely would recommend checking out some of those outfits but you're also about to see some in this video as well so yeah i'm gonna swipe show you the weekend's outfits here we go but for today's outfit well this is my like morning outfit i basically i stayed at ryan's last night i actually wore this last night as well so i need to i need to get changed but i had a call this morning and i've just been like getting ready for the day getting ready for filming so things are looking a little bit cash right now so i am wearing this jogger hoodie set why are we so dark come on camera anyway this set is from nasty gal now before you rush into the info box and pick this up i just want to say there is one hell of a discount code coming if you guys can wait until monday there is the best discount code that i have ever had in my entire career and you guys are going to want to wait for that trust me if you can't wait that's a whole different story but i advise for you to wait and put any nasty girl purchases on hold until monday and if that date changes i will put it on the screen because i'll probably know by the time this video goes live if that date is changing yeah i really really like this it's just a really simple kind of like fitted hoodie and then the joggers are like fitted as well they've actually got this like seam down the side of them i feel like they look like kind of smart like smart joggers, that's what I'm calling them. But yeah, I love this set. I do think it looks a lot more pulled together than just wearing like my normal really, really baggy joggers, which I always have in like an oversized fit. And then wearing like one of my normal black hoodies as well, which are normally very oversized as well. This just looks a little bit more pulled together than that. And I really, really like it. I got a size small, I believe for reference, but I will clarify in the info box. And then wearing this little necklace, which I got from, let me show you up close. So I got this necklace off a website called Local Eclectic, I believe. I really love it. It's got like an opal in the middle and then the stones around the outside. It's so pretty. The color is not coming off. Hopefully that's a little bit better and you can see that pop of blue. It is gorgeous. If you haven't seen my jewelry collection video, I will link it. But yeah, this is actually a new one to the collection. Classic Suze does like a collection video and then adds something new to it literally like two days later. So yeah, aside from that, I'm wearing these slippers. These are from ASOS. I get asked about these all the time and they're currently out of stock, which is so annoying. But if you put stock notifications on or literally just save the link and check back, they come back in stock all the time. And I think they're my favorite pair of slippers. I try not to pick favorites because I have so many pairs of slippers and they are all like my children but these are definitely my most worn like you can see when i take them off there's a foot indent in them but yeah that's what i've been wearing this morning and i'm gonna change now really can't decide what i want to wear today but it's really nice autumn weather today where it's like not too cold it's a little bit windy to be fair but it's nice and dry and sunny and yeah perfect autumn dressing weather so we will see how this goes i really don't know what i'm gonna wear i'm literally just making life up as i go along at the moment there's zero planning to anything also how cute is my little backdrop my bedroom currently looks absolutely barren because I've taken the chair out of it. So I need to decide what to do with that. But I feel like this is the perfect backdrop for my little mirror outfits. How cute. But anyway, I'm going to get dressed. Love you guys. So for today's OOTD, I've had to crank the brightness right up so that you can see any form of detailing on this because 
it's dark. For some reason, my camera is not playing ball today and everything looks super dark, but I'm wearing my Zara, what is this, shirt jacket, over shirt? I can't remember, like everyone calls it something different. Lots of you will have seen in my last what I wore in a week, I have this in the beige. I now have it in the black in case you missed that in my, I think it was my most recent Zara haul maybe, or did I put it on Instagram? Can't remember, but I now have it in black. Between the two of them, I don't really need anything else for my autumn winter wardrobe and God, I love this so much. This is probably the last time this year, maybe that I'm gonna get to wear this with bare legs because it's gonna get cold soon. And obviously if it's raining, I am just gonna put on a pair of like leather leggings with this because I'm not about that life. I'm not actually crazy, but yeah, I'm like the furthest south you can get in the UK. So things are still pretty mild here. So I've decided to take advantage of today's weather and wear this. So I've got my Zara shirt jacket, my Zara lace up boots, which are literally my favorite shoe of the moment. If you haven't picked these up, you need to because they work with everything whether it's bare legs whether you're going leather leggings skinny jeans yeah they don't work with mom jeans let's ignore the fact that they don't technically work with everything but yeah i love them so much i've been getting so much wear out of them lately it's unbelievable like whether it's like for a more practical outfit or for like fashiony stuff like i've been getting so much wear out of these i love them they're also so comfortable so i've actually been wearing them like if i'm walking a semi long distance, I mean not my longest distance, because we all know I'm training for a charity walk, so I'm not walking that far in these, but for a little kind of like dog walk, that kind of thing, these work really, really well. So I'm super impressed with them, like could not be happier. They are definitely my shoe of the season. And then underneath my shirt jacket, I've just popped this little chain necklace, which is like very Celine-esque, but this is from Zara. Literally feel like a broken record, but yeah, anyway, it's so cute. I've just tucked it under the collar as well so that it's not too in your face, it's not too blingy. But yeah, I think this is gonna be my OOTD for the day. I'm really happy that my camera has decided to play ball and show you what the outfit actually looks like for this final shot. So this is a total recreation of my Saturday outfit, but without the makeup because I was not in the mood. But Saturday was in short, a trip to the garden center. And then I think we popped to a cafe and had something to eat. And that was literally it. So I've got my Zara body warmer. I know a lot of you said to send this one back and find one that is more fitted. Though I would like one that is fitted. I do kind of like the boxiness of this one. And I think if you're wearing something quite like stream lined on the bottom it kind of offsets quite nicely i think if i was wearing a really fitted tight body warmer with this it would look a bit too too much i don't know i quite like this and i also like that if i did want to layer it over something chunkier i have the room to do so so i think depending on how my life's activities pan out over the next year i could do with having both but for now we'll see how i get on with this we'll see how i get the wear out of it and that kind of thing and then i'll make some decisions but it wasn't too expensive so i'm super happy with it so far and it's been keeping me really nice and warm without having to wear a coat because we are still in that point where it just is a little bit too warm for a full-on coat like you do end up taking it off at some points and then you have to carry it around which is not ideal so i do think a little body warmer is a great autumn essential i've got a black roll neck on underneath from united colors of benetton which is a brand that i just think has the strangest name but we'll roll with it i got it off amazon fashion for a brand deal a couple of years ago now and i still wear it all the time it's a black like cashmere which is really lovely super soft i have the fendi bag because the fendi is life i just love this bag it's so so handy and then i've got my zara leather leggings which i love so much and they work really nicely with this outfit i do think as i said in my practical outfits haul that like a leather trouser works really nicely with something more practical as a way of like dressing it up did i need the leather trousers for the garden center probably not i just wanted my new tree to know what kind of home it was going home to but yeah it worked really nicely with the boots which i am obsessed with and i will probably talk about a lot in the rest of this video so i'll keep it simple for now i love the boots they are the best and i just thought this was a really cute little saturday practical outfit didn't matter if it was raining if it was windy if it was sunny i was like perfect temperature and i was very very happy with this outfit so yeah that is saturday and then we have sunday's outfit i stayed at ryan's so i would have actually looked like bag lady so i've given you a real accurate depiction of this here i'm just wearing a and other stories jumper from last year this is so like well loved and it's super oversized as well i've just tucked it at the side which always makes me laugh when i tuck things at the side because it's actually how we used to tuck our t-shirts at school instead of like tucking them here and letting them be slouchy like if you were cool if you like tucked it to the side i can't i wasn't cool i was 
cool. But yeah, anyway, this tuck always just reminds me of that. But I love this jumper. I'm really sad. I don't think it's in stock anymore. But if it is, I will do a little happy dance because everyone needs to get their hands on this. It's just the best colour. It actually is slightly more pinky toned IRL. I don't know if that'll come off on camera, but it's like a nude pink. So pretty. I've paired it with my Fendi bag because the Fendi, you know, it's always with me. And then I've got my Zara Birkenstock-esque little shoes that I think 90% of you probably hate. And then we have the Dior book tote, which is my go-to for if I'm carrying anything more than like keys, mask. Like if I'm gonna be out of the house for longer than 12 hours, I need this. It's my go-to bag. Tiny camera bags and tote bags are all that have like really been my go-tos in lockdown. Through like peak lockdown, those were the only things that got used. Like the medium sized bags got zero use. But yeah, that is my bag lady Sunday look. So this was Monday's outfit super boring for me i guess because i didn't go out this outfit could have been like an outfit but this was what i put on yesterday because i was literally sat in that chair filming so all you could really see was this so yeah this was as chic as things were getting ace or slippers top shop sydney jeans and then this jumper is also from nasty girl like i said hold your horses for monday but yeah this is what i wore thrilling i know what do you say it's wednesday i have been filming all afternoon and i'm just popping out to get some dinner bits once again it's just there we go but this is my outfit of the afternoon just very very simple it's like quite warm but it's literally just only stopped peeing it down with rain but i'm wearing this jumper from and other stories which is just a lovely classic regular fit cable knit just like something really simple and easy that you will have in your wardrobe for years and years i've paired it with my chloe test bag my zara leather trousers my zara boots these are just like the ideal rainy autumn winter boots really aren't they and with the trousers as well it's like you're almost like waterproof on the bottom a little bit i've just shoved my hair back in a ponytail because i your girl is tired after all the filming, I'm so tired. So this is this is pretty much it for me today. My jewelry is just like my standard earring situation and then my rings. They're a mix of Olivia Burton and local eclectic. My necklace is also local eclectic as well. Just left over from filming earlier. So yeah, just a really nice, easy, simple outfit. I don't think it's the most like flattering, but it's just so comfortable, so easy, very autumnal, like perfect. The perfect seasonal outfit basically that is that's what we are working with today really not sure if i'm digging my hair today maybe i'll tuck it do we like that better i'm not sure it is thursday it's a very gray day today like i'm really not sure what the weather is doing so i've kind of dressed semi accordingly so last night i stayed at ryan's i've come back home for a really quick like turnaround change so i'm still wearing my zara leather trousers and leather boots the lace-up ones i've then got a zara v-neck tee on underneath and then the little star of the show here is this jacket this is from lorna lux's new collection within the style which i believe by the time you see this will have just dropped last night she very kindly sent this one to me and it is so lovely i got it in a size 10 it's the elizabeth coat I believe that's what it's called. It's got lovely big pockets and it feels so, so soft and snuggly. And it's warm, but it's still like kind of lightweight. It's not too heavy, which I really like. I think it's going to work for like the days that are slightly warmer and the days that are also colder and I can like layer things up. But I've just got a t-shirt underneath today because like I said, I really don't know what the weather is doing. And then for jewellery, I've got these hoop earrings in which are from Zara. Ryan picked this up for me as a part of our video that we are doing where he does my zara haul so that will be coming soon and then my rings are the same as yesterday and i don't think there's anything else to report that is my outfit of the day i'm going to get my car serviced and then i'm gonna go and sit in a coffee shop and wait for it to finish being serviced for about like three hours wild i know what a wild day so i think that's gonna be it for this what i wore in a week i really hope you guys have enjoyed it hopefully it wasn't too short i feel like i don't i don't know what happened this week i feel like i've barely filmed any outfits compared to usual but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye didn't quite manage to cover the whole camera there bye